morning everybody. What is going on? Today we are starting off our day unlike any other day I have ever started off ever in the history of my life on an electric skateboard. Well, I'm no stranger to riding skateboards. Electric skateboards, they are a pretty new thing to me. Yes, they've been around for a couple of years now, but this is my first one. And I bundled up because it's cold out here. It's like probably 40 degrees if I'm lucky. And I've never made this commute by, well, that's a lie. I have made this commute by skateboard once, but uh, never by electric skateboard. We're also on the G7X, so if the audio sucks, I do apologize. I was uh, a little afraid to take a spill and, and dump the Sony. That's a little bit more expensive and a little bit more important to me than the G7X, so I'm just gonna have to deal with bad audio. The skateboard has three speeds, slow, medium, and fast. The slow speed is really slow. The fast speed is really fast. The medium felt pretty good for me, but now that I'm on a nice, long, smooth straightaway, I'm on medium, and I feel like I'm crawling. We might have to bump up the speed here. I am entirely certain I wore too many clothes for that. It was cold, so I wore a flannel, a sweatshirt, a jacket, a scarf, a winter hat, gloves, and I got to work and I was sweating. And I didn't really do too much. I rode an electric skateboard to work, so I had to uh, unbutton my top button and I needed air out. I was dying. So note to self, riding an electric skateboard in 40 degree weather, you don't need to dress like you're in a blizzard. But the one thing I forgot, it's actually one of the big pieces of advice Casey Neistat gave when he started riding boosted boards. Always bring the charger with you. And I forgot the charger. Now I charged this thing up two days ago. I charged it Friday night, I rode it a little bit, and then I left it on the charger Friday into Saturday. And wouldn't you know it, coldest day of the year. So I, I looped around the block once or twice. Uh, I filmed a little bit for the review I will be doing on this board, but I didn't ride it too much because it was freezing. And then Sunday I was useless because I did something stupid and I pretty much was useless for the entire day. But I have a three mile commute back and forth and uh, they're supposed to have a 10 mile range. I'm down one bar. Let's see if I can get all the way home. But the question that you're probably asking yourself right now is, Jeff, that does not look like a boosted board. And you are correct, it is not a boosted board. It is a thrust board. Jeff, why did you get a thrust board? This is why. For years, like many of you out there, I have been pining, pining over a boosted board. But the price far exceeds the range that I am willing to reach for an electric skateboard. The thrust board is literally half that price. And I reached out to the company, I'm doing a partnership with them. So, me and this thrust board are going to be trying to get along as much as we can over the next week or two. I'll be doing a full review on it. I just got it at the wrong time of the year because it's, it's getting cold. I got it literally 
the day that that night it got the coldest day of the year it was like 10 degrees the night that i got this and i didn't get it until like probably three four o'clock on saturday so by the time i had enough charge in it the sun was down so i just zipped around the block once or twice because i had to I had to zip around the block but uh, i haven't been able to get a full super good ride which is what today and hopefully tomorrow i think after that we're gonna get some bad weather some rain or some snow so as much as i can i'm going to be commuting to work on this board again 10 mile range mile and a half each way so i have a three mile round trip commute let's hope at least today that this battery will last I, I i don't see it not lasting it's really not that far i do have a massive hill to go up to get to my house i'll probably walk up that i did try to ride a part of it the other day and while the board made it i think it, it really put stress in at least on the battery so i don't want to stress out the motors and i don't mind walking a quarter mile up the hill it's not that bad so it's time to get some coffee get some work done and then on the way home we're gonna ride this thing we might take an excursion the sun will be going down, so we won't have too much light. But we're gonna have as much fun as we possibly can. They actually have two color choices for the wheels, black and red. I chose the black just so it looked as different from a boosted board as it could, because this is a thrust board. And I wanted to make sure that distinction was made. Also, the black wheels will probably stay cleaner a lot longer than the red wheels. This is the very big hill. And this is me walking up the very big hill with the skateboard. Because I don't want to burn out the motors. Also, I don't know the grade of this hill and the board's good for like a 25% grade. I think this is far more than a 25% grade. So we're just gonna walk. Okay, this was extremely fun. I do not think I've ever had this much fun going to work. This is a thrust board out of Miami, Florida. The reason I went with a thrust board again was the price is so, so much lower than a boosted board. I will be doing a full on review of this board to let you know if it's worth the money. So right now it handled amazingly the speeds were great actually the top speeds scared me a little bit it's supposed to go 21 miles an hour i'm going to try to download a gps tracker app for my phone to see if this thing will actually go 21 miles an hour but when i first kicked it into high on that long straightaway i got a little scared i'm not gonna lie it was uh it was fast but this was the day one commute to work. I will be also commuting tomorrow and as many days over the next hopefully two weeks as I can squeeze in that it's not freezing cold. Now today it was 39 degrees when I left. I bundled up and I was dying when I got there. I was really warm when I got home as well but I had to walk up that big hill which definitely took a lot out of me because I got up at five o'clock this morning to run. But there is a link in the description box down below if you would like to check out thrust boards. They also make a penny board version, which is shaped like a penny board, but it's uh, about 31 and change inches long, which is shorter, just a little bit shorter than a regular skateboard deck. So if you don't want the long board version, because this is the long board version, I believe this is about 39 and change inches long maple deck if 
If you're interested in an electric skateboard, I definitely think you should check these out. There's not a lot on them on the internet right now, which is why I reached out to the company to uh, try to put this review together. So hopefully this thing holds up and uh, I have a blast with it because I'm going to try to use this as much as I possibly can until the weather will no longer let me do so. And I'm sure even then I'll be able to whip around on the weekends here or there with a warm day. So do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell so you get notifications the next time I post a brand new video, especially the review of the thrust board. Good night.